thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I'm going to be showing you how to create an easy, everyday contour and highlight routine. I do this every single time I do my makeup. It is the last step that I do on my face after my eyes are done, my foundation is on, and it is set with powder. I will add my contour, bronzer, and highlight just to give me that everyday glow, but also chisel out my cheeks. I have a rounder face and really no crazy cheekbones until I do this step. So if you're interested in chiseling your cheeks out with me, please keep watching. Okay, so a few items you're going to want today to get started and set in front of you is going to be two shades of bronzer. Make sure that they are matte bronzers, that there's no shimmer or shine in them. This is going to be used to hollow out and contour and bronze the skin. So I'm going to be using one shade. This is by Bobbi Brown Cosmetics in Golden Light. This color is about, as you can see, two shades or three shades darker than my skin. This is going to be used as your bronzing to the face. So using contour, what you want to do to really just be able to see that shape that you give yourself when we put it in the hollows of the cheek, just to kind of chisel out those cheekbones that we all want to have. And that is going to be a shade that's about five or six different shades from your natural skin tone. So this obviously looks definitely crazy, but we are going to be using this very, very lightly. So any crazy color that you have, don't be afraid. It is when it's compacted a little crazier than what we're going to be placing it on with. So don't be afraid of that. If you don't have another contour color in dark or a bronzer to use, what you can do is use any eyeshadow. You can use a shadow that is similar to, say for instance, just as long as it's a matte brown and it is that five or six shades darker than your skin, you're good. Remember, no shimmer at all. How to lightly go about that. And then you're going to want any highlighter. So this is going to be the areas that kind of brighten us up and give us that glow and the highlight glow on top. So this is from Laura Mercier. This is the highlight number zero one. If you are looking, there are a bunch of regular store-bought brands as well. Anyhow, this can have the shimmer and it can have the glow. You don't want to have anything that's matte for something like this. Another good one is by Becca Cosmetics and I'm sure you've seen me all use this in my videos. It's broken right now so I have to be really careful when showing you. But this is called Champagne Pop best highlighter I've ever found. It is at Sephora. It's a little pricey. It's about $38, but it does last a while if it doesn't break. So it's a really good one. So after that, you're just going to want a couple brushes to go along with this. So you're going to want one that is going to help us chisel out the areas that we want and really pinpoint the areas. So as you can see, this brush is very detailed to where I'm going to want to use. We're going to end up using the side of the brush here and so this will kind of help chisel out our cheekbones and go lightly around. After that to kind of bronze we're going to want to use the big fluffy brush. So anything that's shaped, the again the shape of the brush is going to be very important. You want to always remember to get the shape of what you're wanting to do. So again, just making sure that you have those two brushes and not something big and bulky like this is going to be extremely important. And for the highlight, you can use any kind of fan brush or if you just have a sibling type brush like this, this works as well. We're Okay, so to get started, you are going to see right now that I just have my foundation on, I have my powder on, and everything is set and ready for the contouring and the bronzing and highlighting. So for me, my cheeks have always just been round and a little bit more puffier than I would like them to look. So this is for me, I do this every single day, no matter how natural my look is going or how glammed up I'm going to do, I will just intensify it if need be. All these steps you're going to learn today can always be intensified if you want that darker, more intense look. However, this is just powder based. So this is what's amazing. It looks super natural in person. So you're going to just first grab that darker contouring color that I spoke to you about. This should be about five to six 
different steps up than your actual color. So crazy color, yes. Um, and then for two options for the brush we're going to grab, you can grab the smaller one or the precise one. So for this area I'm going to just be chiseling out the cheek that I want. Just grabbing the brush very lightly using the tip of the brush. We're never using the flat of the brush to go flat. It's always the tip and just pressing it in. The trick to doing this is always do the fishy face. It does help you find where the contour area that you're going to want. So doing that really sexy fishy face is always funny looking but it does do the job. The other option if you don't want to do that or you can't hold that the whole time just take your brush, roll it, start on top of your cheekbone, kind of give it a roll down. As soon as it dips and you feel where it's at, that is where your contouring, the darkest color, as well as your bronzer later is going to be placed. It also is normally elevated from the top of your ear all the way down. It should almost meet the corners here. So after you take that, we're going to just start and gently you want to start as close to the hairline as possible. That way if too much product grabs, it's just by the hairline and very easily. You don't ever want to start down here. The trick to that is because as soon as you place it, that harshest and most product is always going to grab right there. So never, never, never start at that area. Always start closest to your hairline and by your ear. And this is just going to be slight windshield wiper motion. So don't do, don't be too aggressive. And the trick is you're never going to pass this area right here. So never bring any kind of dark past, almost looking straight ahead, down from where your iris is. So you can see already how just that little bit of the contoured darker color just adds a little bit of that depth into my cheeks giving me that hollowed in look which I definitely want to give me more of a structured cheek look. You can always go back and add more so just start lightly and always build later. Once you place dark on your face it's a little harder to get off. Making sure to always look in a mirror when you're doing this, you want to make sure it's even. So sometimes if you're darker on one side or lighter on the other, you can easily go back and forth and really change the color and fix it to blending it out. Also making sure you don't have super harsh lines. Taking what's left on the brush, no dipping back into it, you're going to kind of just buff back out that line. Small circular motion. After we've done that color, you are going to want to take your bronzer, and that is the shade that is about one to two, possibly three, if you'd like, darker than your skin tone. And this is going to be bronzer. This is going to kind of go around our hairline, our temples, and then back where that first contour was, and down the chin and neck, just to kind of give us that healthy looking, fabulous glow. So with this, you're going to grab your big fluffy and just take that bronzer tap it into your bronzer again using the edges of the brush don't use the flatness of the brush or anything like that and again we're going to start where we began our other contouring shade so this is just going to be closest to the hairline and windshield wipers up and down, lightly pressing. Around the temples, the 
the hairline. And around the jaw and down the neck. You'll see I'm just doing back and forth, but small circular. Again, I don't want to look like I have a 5 o'clock shadow or anything like that. So you don't want any harsh lines going on. Um, we all have sometimes that chin that we really want to kind of deepen up. And back to the ears and down the neck. We always say that foundation sucks the life out of us and bronzer brings us back. So if you see the before and after photo from today, you're going to see how I actually look a lot more pale than when I add the contour to my face. So no matter how easy your base is, you could actually get away with just wearing bronzer. It's fantastic. So remember always just going back and adding more if you want more, but I just am going to keep it pretty natural today, but just so you can see that different level of the contour that I'm adding to my skin. And after you've had the contour, the bronzer, now it is time for the highlighter. So grab your favorite highlighter as well as your fan brush or any kind of fluffy loose brush will work as well. So today I'm going to use my Sigma F64 and grab my Becca Cosmetics and just again using the side of the brush tapping out any excess just to make sure that it's not overkill. Where this is going to go is on top of our cheekbone down the bridge of our nose and on our chin and our cupid's bow just a little bit. This is supposed to be very light. This is almost supposed to be light reflective so when it grabs certain light, especially outside in the sun, it's going to give you that really pretty soft glow so you should never have any streaks or really bright so if when you're doing this you don't really see it too much I promise you if you're using the right product you will see it and you can just kind of move your cheek around and just see And that is all there is to it. What I will end up doing is adding a little blush towards the right now just to kind of give it that finished look for that is the last step that I would do when I am doing my makeup. So just grab any blush. I will use a matte blush. I do not tend to use too, anything with too much shimmer or sparkle. Again, I, I use that in the highlight. I think it's so beautiful when you keep everything else kind of matte and gorgeous. So this will just go on the apples of the cheek. Because we have the contour here, the highlight here, our apples of our cheek are kind of naked. So that's the only place that blush goes. And that is all there is to it. So easy, quick, and cakeless so there's no cakey feeling it's very soft it's touchable it doesn't come off you can't scrape it off with your nails so it's a great everyday look you can see how there's no harsh lines so just make sure if for some reason after you've done all that and you still possibly have a little too harsh lines or your bronzer you found is a little too dark just take your fluffy powder brush that you used to set your foundation and just buff that area right back in. Any harsh lines you can just do small circular motions. 
and just clean it up and tone anything down that maybe is a little too much for you. If it was super easy for you, not as crazy and scary as the thick cream contours that you do see out there, but this is an everyday look that you can use and not be afraid of. So I hope you have those chiseled cheeks that you've always wanted with that glowy skin, just pulling yourself fully together and feeling great. So thank you so much again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and also give this video a thumbs up would really be great because then I know that this was helpful and that you loved it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.